Yeehaw! Peyton regular steel wheels. One owner car guy, oneownercarguy.com. I got this beautiful Jeep here and we put it up in the air because, you know, it needs paint. You got patina everywhere. But just these tires and wheels, you know what? If they'd have all been like that and white, I would have left them. This one was black. Not to be all racist about it or nothing, but I just, I'm not gonna leave it like that. So, depending on how exactly your tires are, is depending on what method you can use easy. Now, I'm not trying to make this perfect. I don't know what somebody's gonna do to this, but it's probably going to be a lot better than what I'm going to do here. Now, you got a couple choices. You can just tape it off, if that's possible. And you can also, the problem usually is on wheels, the tape won't stick. However, Nick has done this one and he has actually got so much of the grease off that I can't believe how well this is sticking. And it's likely because we detailed these wheels and tires and degreased them on the truck. Um, why don't you go over and grab a couple of readers? Readers. Uh, Just, they the they're usually out in front. Anything. If they don't have it, whatever. And I'll tell you what, if you've watched many of my videos on the work series, you're awesome. Keep watching. But you've seen Nick working and learning. And I must say, he's been gone for two weeks. He injured his hand. And I'll tell you what, he is a changed man in the seven weeks or so he worked here. He's just doing it, doing it. Learning a lot. Now, if it's really easy to stick this on here like this, I totally suggest doing it this way. Alright, we got three readers. Okay, now. Is free? Bro, that's the Sunday paper. You better take that back. Bro. Yeah, man. That's the Sunday paper. That's 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 two dollars fifty cents. I think they're looking for you. Just take them back. I don't wanna. I don't wanna. Yeah. Just I would definitely. No, I don't wanna. I don't wanna. <laughs> That was the Sunday paper. We'll just use paper towels. <laughs> He's gonna dump it off in the brush and be like, <laughs> no, I don't wanna take that back. <laughs> the Sunday paper, man. What am I doing here? My God. Duh. Why didn't I just use paper towels to begin with? I'm old school. I want a newspaper. I don't know. Either way will work. I would normally have you be doing the other one for me right now. Yeah. Where we're working on two things. But at the same time, I want you to know this whole process, so. Pretty much just cover the tires here and get them going. Get one more over there, please. That's 
the idea. Okay, we got this going and me and Nick were talking and I was almost talking about something that should be in the video without showing it. When you shake paint, don't just shake paint. Shake it and twist it. Shake it and consider that ball in there. Even consider this. At the bottom, sometimes I'll rattle it around back and forth every way. And you want that ball to go everywhere in there, everywhere you can. And roll it around the edges and swirl it to where it's getting all the pigmentation off the sides. Now, all this is done. One thing you don't want to forget to do on your tires when you're doing this, and it's really easy. It'll give you a better final job. That's all there is to it. Get yourself an extra piece and tape off your valve stems. It's really easy. And it'll give you a nice, even look. So, on the primer here, we don't really need a whole lot. And I'm just going to hit up a couple places. Where there is rust. And where there's an edge like that. And anywhere where there's bare metal. And as I'm doing this, I'm actually having a good time and wanting to primer it correctly. The whole thing. That makes no difference either way. Some tips for spraying. Shake your paint while you're doing it. And don't paint from one area. You gotta stand up and move around. If you don't stand up and move around, you're not gonna see other edges, and it just isn't gonna work. Other than that, short bursts. Just little short bursts, and let it dry in between coats. You're not just trying to spray a bunch of paint on, and if you do that, you're not gonna get a nice, even look either. You wanna just do little teeny coats that dry really nice and easy. And if you can see what I mean yet by not being able to see stuff, like I'm here, I can't see this. And it leaves an easy way for you to miss things if you don't pick up off your butt and move around a little bit. Now I did a lot more primer on this than I was going to. It almost looks like this. <laughs> But this will give you a, a lot more of an even job. And like I say, we didn't sand this as much as we could have. Okay, so that is the first step on this. We're gonna keep some tape on this to where it don't blow away on us. And it's just a time-consuming process, but it's really simple, easy. That's that. Thanks for watching. Gonna take a picture, and I'll talk to you in a minute. Now, this is where if I had a Sunday live stream, it would be doing it to it, and I'd be getting opinions from 100 people or something, which I would really appreciate. But we're moving. We're shaking. I've got this textured metallic. You can see there, it's like a gold metallic in it. And I don't like the glossiness or the metallic of this paint, but I like the texture. This one is a camouflage two times cover. Man, I am so confused about what I'm going to actually do here on this. It's pitiful. I've got all kinds of, one, two, three, four. I got 10 cans of this. I got green too, got eight cans of it. My plan was to go this and then put the flat black over it. The orange I bought just because, well, hell, it's orange. <laughs> Construction, man, orange paint, we always needed it and always are running out and I mean, you just don't see it as much and you can mark things and say dig here and I don't know. Okay. So like I say, I really wish I could get some opinions. We're just gonna do something. Flipping a coin.
You got a quarter? Yeah. You gonna let it hit the ground? Yeah. Okay. How are you flipping? Just like that. Come out here to where we can. That's okay. So. That's that. That was black. Okay. Tails. You had me talked into this one. <laughs> you really did. That's why I was holding it and I shook it up and everything. I was like, well, that looked pretty good. You got tails again? Yeah. <laughs> but I feel like the camouflage would go better with this kind of color though. <laughs> Well, yeah. Hopefully, we have enough of this. It just looks so nice, you know what I mean? And it's just like the first layer, it just looks so clean and fresh. Okay, we're back on glass, and we've got the paint. Man, that thing hit it twice, and I had planned on doing it this color. Nick actually had me talked into thinking that other was nice, but we didn't do it. Now it's a little windy out. And same thing, you're going to want to kind of do little short spurts and let it dry. Now, if you don't wait long enough between the primer and the paint, you'll know really soon because your primer will melt into the paint and you'll have an issue. On a hot day like this, honestly, it could be as little as five minutes. Knew that it would happen because of them ridges. Doing a metallic like this on a wheel is not always your best choice because you can't get into these angles and stuff, and you're going to have to it at some point and it's going to show up one way or the other. You're either going to get a run in your paint or you're going to miss a spot that'll be the same color as the primer and so one way or the other it ain't going to look too good. But you got to get those ridges there. Now with the metallic it's very important to always shake. And I'm going to cheat with this one. I'm going to paint a piece of this wheel from the back. I need you to carefully put your hand um, here and here and hold the rags. Okay. Did you get me all sparkly? Uh, I didn't mean to sparkle you. <laughs> supposed to dodge. <laughs> That's nice. I like it. I'm right here. Can you feel that more? And then we got to get the stuff here. We might flash coat this thing. Kind of a final when we're done. I'm hoping we've got enough paint. And I'm thinking we do. It's really hard to get in there without making it run. Do you have one of those things to put on the end of it? You know what I'm talking about? No, nothing will get in there. Hopefully somebody buys hubcaps for this 
It deserves the hubcaps, and they'll go right over that. The small ones and the big ones cover them. The whole wheel. I've actually got two of each kind. So, that's that. Now, what you're going to want to do on this is let it dry. I don't consider this done. I'm going to hit it up a little more in a second. But especially with the kind of paint I've got here and the timing in it, we're going to do another one in between. Um, I actually am not going to have anything to do with taping that one off. It's all on Nick. And I believe he can do it after this. And this is the kind of thing that's different on this lot. This isn't, hey, can you run a power washer? Well, yeah. Hey, can you run a buffer? Well, yeah. Can you change a starter? Can you rip a car apart? Can you paint? Can you be the tape off man? Can you do this? Can you bust your ass and push cars? Can you get out and sweat your ass off and push like a man? Not many people can. That's just how it goes. People are pussies nowadays. That's all there is to say about it. And that's one thing Nick's done since he's been here hard, is he's pushed and helped and been out sweating his ass off with me. And that's what you do out here in work, is you sweat and you work. I'm sick of working with people that just don't put their all in. That's 100% not fun. Okay, thanks for watching. Gonna get a picture of this. We'll clip more in a minute. Okay, so here we go. I am going to try to do this one totally differently without even putting paper towels on it. Um, we'll see how this stuff blows around here and what happens with that. I may change my tune really quickly. We shall see. What was it? A bug? A little bit of water. Water? Where would water be from? It's probably sitting there. Remember the hose? Probably right, degreased it. I don't see any other water. I think we're good. Okay, watch out now. Now I hit them areas first. And you can see it runs totally different on this. Yeah. Because you didn't put that coat down. Partially. Now when you do it like this, you are going to get a little bit on your tire. And sometimes it wouldn't even matter. Like if this was just black paint, who cares? But this is like glitter. So we're going to have to address that as well. If you're throwing down the street, it'll sparkle. Now, Nick did a lot more prep work on that other tire, where wheel. Um, and that's a lot of it. And also, like Nick mentioned, there's no primer. So that's not gonna get you as even of a finish, but when you're done, I'll bet you there's no way that you could really ever tell at the start or finish. Huh? You want to pick it up? Um, let me get even out one sec here. And try and get somewhere where you have even lighting. Even lighting is very important when you're painting. And little things like this, can we roll it a little bit? Don't don't tilt it towards you too much though. Because there's still water on the back. Roll it this way now. Yeah, I gotta get that top one. Is that it? There we go. Okay, that is, I would say, about 
Now I might come out and flash coat these things a, a last time. In fact, this one I know I will, because I did on the other one. Now that's one can for two wheels almost exactly. It's about that left in it. So I'm gonna use, another tip here, you can use the, use something like that that you have not a lot of as a base on the next ones to where you're getting the there and you get the nice even flow from a fresh can for your top coat on it. Just an easy way to kind of keep track of them kind of things. Okay, where well we all, blah, blah, blah. we are where we are. I'm gonna leave this like it is. I would say this needs five, 10 more minutes to dry and that one needs 15 or 20. So we're gonna do a couple more things. We'll come back and it's all timing here because if this takes too long, then I'm just paying out the ass to try and do something on a truck. These have to go back on the truck before I can take the front ones off and do them. Okay, we cleaned up the overspray. I've got the new can here. Okay, so that's that. You know, while I'm out here doing this, and this stuff requires a lot more shaking, by the way, but I got some undercoating, and nobody's gonna take this thing down to metal or nothing while they're doing this. And hopefully, if this even, it's stuck. I am so going to buy another one and return this one. Maybe I can use part of it. No, there ain't no need to even try. It's like one of them snake things on 4th of July. Well, wow, it's all dry. Walmart's giving me my money back. Okay, well, that took care of what I was gonna do there. You know, you still got the issue that this piece here is in the middle of everything. Sorry about that. So no matter what, I don't like that you're gonna look at this piece. So just as an extra, extra, read all about it. We're gonna make this look good to where the center of the wheel isn't all messed up. And on this, I'm just using a regular old flat black ultra cover. And I'm not caring if it's 125% covered here. The point is just to have that center and they can get away with just doing that. But that's not the point. I want it to look good. And it'll show right through the middle of that wheel there. Wow, this is stamped Canada. Didn't know they made jibs in Canada. AMC, I, mean, I guess that makes sense. I don't know. Heck, I'm no scholar.
So there we go. A much better end job. And I like to get a little bit on the part that's going to be seen. I mean, get it wetted up a bit. Extra low add leaf things on this. Man, he had this thing set up. Okay, talk to you in a second. Anything as long as you're skipping. Now, we're missing a lug nut here, but I was just talking to Nick here, and a lot of people nowadays haven't heard the, the whole jibrigable roll on what you're doing here. You're always supposed to skip one. Just don't come around and start tightening them up or just go roll, 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 because then you're going to tie one side of the tire down and you're not going to get an even thing, especially with these old beveled nuts. You know, it hurts when you got beveled nuts. But, so, always skip one. Do this one and then do this one. And then we don't have this one, so we can act like we did. And then we do this one and this one. And still, everyone's going to get done. Make sure you don't miss any or do some stupid mistake. But always skip a nut and let her know to do the same. She don't need to be actually, she don't need to be skipping no nuts. You do. Don't be doing them in order. One, skip, one, skip, one, skip, one, skip, one. Okay, the crowning moment. Actually, I do like taking these pieces off. Boom! Clean factory finish. Okay, we're done with this one and Nick is untaping and we are unpulling. A lot easier when you tape it off. Now we'll just have to clean up that and that. And actually, if we wouldn't have primed it, this would have never been known. Another thing, I mean, I'd even forgotten about it until now. But I really, even though this is in the sun, this will be in the shade, I don't think you can tell. I don't think there's a person around that if I did the three card Monty with them that they could figure out which one was which. Primed and not primed. Another thing, kind of just a tip, and you know I throw these things out there. I got a lot of kids on my channel that never done stuff like this. You don't tighten them all the way up. Just get them kind of tight. So, and then get them evenly the same amount of tight. But just get them to one point. Skip one. And see, like right here, I can't skip because that one's not there. So my next one is right here. And then that'll take me up to the one I skipped up top. So just get them kind of tight to the same spec. And then to the same spec I said there under my breath as I kind of grunted. Get them about the same hand tightness and then come back around and really put the boots to them. And now I'm just kind of getting out of order and going all over the place. And then I'm getting back on here. What more fun could you have in a day? Okay. Did you drop it down yet? No. Drop it down. We'll make sure nothing's under it. I don't think there is. Slowly. This side's way up in the air. Well, not now. And then the final word of warning. Look how much I'm painting in this thing. Jeez. Yeah, I checked. It is. Always tighten it again once it's on the ground. Never go from just what you can do on the jacks. Always put it on the ground. And put the weight of the truck on it. To where you get a good, solid fit. Okay, we've been working on this thing throughout the day. And man, them back ones look good. They sure do. That's just, you know, when you see it like that, in the story, it just has to be done. Tell me, Nick. 
It's still on me. What the hell? Hey! How do you figure this is gonna work out? What do you mean, what do I mean? You just kind of stuck this all over it. It's down on there. You're gonna have to paint over it. This here, look at this. This is just all wrapped down here. I don't know what you did. You gummed it up on the tire. Basically, you stuck the paper towels too far down. You know what I mean? Yeah. I couldn't even find the tape until you just came up. You knew you taped it. Right there. No, 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 no. I meant here. Oh. It sure looks better when you walk up and you see that back tire. Just the more we try to fix it, the more it falls apart, too. You know what I'm saying? See, that ain't even got nothing behind it. This is where attention to detail does play off a lot. The one thing I'm going to do on these. So this is my first time ever seeing this one like this. Third. Oh yeah. <laughs> Anywhere where it's uneven like that, it makes it easy to blend it. Look at all the rust. Yeah. Well, think about it. If it'll fill an 80 grit scratch, and you just sanded most of it down with 120, that means essentially you're gonna have a smooth surface. Almost. Like it almost takes some of them little nicks out. Yeah. Not you. You had a little Nicoletta anyways. What'd you name your kid? Natalie. You know, once you get so far with this too, it's easy to just kind of tie it all in. Okay, is that one gonna stay a little better? Or I'll tell you what, I'll do this one. See, this thing just blew off when you went away. Womp, 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 womp. Just blew up when you went away. Um, you get that one all ready and you can paint that one. Just get it ready, because if it is not, like, there's no way. I'll just do this, whatever. Like, if you don't get all this lifted up off here, we can't even paint the tire, you know what I mean? In fact, I'm glad I waited, because they don't need to paint this yet. That's where our primer would have ran. Shit, they look good in primer color. <laughs> they would look good on there in primer, that looks good. Yeah, I'm glad the sparkles don't show up too much. I mean, you can see them if you get up on it. It actually just looks really good. I like that. Fucking dollar a can. Thank you, Walmart. All 
that's where like if you haven't done the job before you may run into some binders or problems you don't think ahead on certain things and but dude the guy's 90 80 percent there i'm telling you wow he even cut that piece of 150 and a half i'm telling you that's thinking i'd like to see it my camouflage paint job with orange Primer it up, light coat. You got to keep the same distance and kind of fog it on it. You're coming at it. And so you're getting closer and you're getting these marks. And see, that's not dry yet because you're as closer. Just kind of keep it one distance. And kind of work with an area. And whenever you feel like you're tipping it up, you can't because you're going to lose all your air. That's when you're going to need to move. So kind of hit up everything you can and coat it all nice. But it's the same as the power washer where we're talking. You got to keep it the same distance. Sparkly! The Rainbow Bright Jeep! You're too close, your spurts are too short. Before we get to the next one, kind of think about it as like the paint's falling on it, and you're doing really little. You want it to more let the paint fall on it. So longer spurts. Took like two seconds. Or like kinda. It's just whatever, however the paint's falling, and it kind of depends on the wind and a couple variables, and you'll get it. But just make sure you're not chopping at it. Yeah. Make sure you're always trying to. The more you go with the wrist movement and just letting it, like even right now, the paint's still falling on it a bit until it's just rising. anything over here hit it but I think we're almost done god they look good in primer I like that rusty looking color okay you see anything on the fronts snail on the wheel Painted snail. Dude, 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 dude. Just keep it away, like a long ways away. Yeah. Okay, um, back up. Get your hands out from under it and look under the front. Move. Get out of here. Oh, you felt that? 
Yeah, I fucking felt that. The whole thing's coming off. Move, get out of the way. Okay, so you tell me what happened. I'm guessing with the tire being moved on like that, we bumped that down or something. It was sitting on the edge of the concrete and it rolled down. Oh shit. We were that far from rolling off of it after that, and when it moved forward, the whole thing came forward an edge, that jack stand might have fell down. So don't always trust your jack stands at the same time. But if you get these things and you get in here, yeah. put your knee into it. I'm gonna have to do something different. Hang on. We're not in there. Why did you have to go all the way down? This one goes first. Driver's side. Pull the handle. Just pull the handle. Okay, did you say you did vacuum the trunk or you did not? I did. Okay. So I went, I did that when um, the tires were drying with the water. Okay, pull the handle. Okay, I'm gonna go upload the second video. Basically, besides this, Oh man, I don't have my phone. No wonder it wasn't ringing. Um, plug the air compressor in. Okay. And let's make sure the air is done by the time we're done too. But we gotta do the cleanup on the tires, both of them. And all them lugs have to be retorqued back down. Okay. Um, sandpaper and clean up around that hole. Wipe it down. Mix up enough that you're gonna be able to plug it. But I wanna make sure that when you plug it, I don't want you pushing a bunch up in it. I want to push some up in it, make sure and kind of push past the lip, kind of push it and go like that to where it kind of catches itself on the lip. Yeah. Do you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. You're going to stretch it a little bit in there and then kind of smooth it out as much as you can. Smooth it out and make it look good, pat it up in there. You don't want a big chunk on it. Yeah. You want a nice smooth thing. It's already indented in. You should be able to make it under smooth. But if it's just and stuck to the outside, it's not going to hold. You actually have to kind of mold it to that little, the rip in it a little bit and get it to go around the corner. Um, so that should be easy to do. That, wheel cleanup, I mean tire cleanup, get all this put up, get that thing blowing up in between. And I guess that for sure, get the water out of and wound up. I don't know if we'll, we don't need it up there in that car. Okay. That Ferrari, we don't need that for the Ferrari at all. No. A little bit of hand wipe and okay, and it gets put up. Um, so clean up that stuff, patchy patch. Um, probably get on the patchy patch first to where it can be drying. You know what I mean? Yeah. Okay. Well, it's the reminiscence of the day, Sunday. It's inside getting ads done just now, and I'll tell you what. We got trash day coming up tomorrow, I believe. Between that and some other stuff, beginning of this week, you got this thing washed down again today and... Okay now, the main thing that we accomplished today, this is just a quick wash that we had to do because it was Nick's first day back. Um, but we got these wheels changed around on this big bad, <laughs> big bad, bad, big bad wagoneer. Who am I blocked in by here? Who knows? Look at this. I'll put a before and after up somewhere maybe. If you're subscribed on Facebook, you've seen the before and after, and it looks good. So that's the deal. That was part of the main part of the day, was between 
I guess it was mainly this. It was. All day on this? No, there was all oh, we went to the other house, did some stuff on the Ferrara car, and you name it. So, well, just a quick update. I came out to take a picture and figured why not take a little video. We'll talk to you.